Good blessings, good blessings, my brothers and sisters in this troop. All praises to the Most High. Through our Savior's name, let's get our swords out the mud. My brothers and sisters, let's get into the book of Ezekiel. Chapter 7, verse 19 through 27. The book of Ezekiel. Chapter 7, verse 19 through 27. They will throw their silver into the streets, and their gold will be like refuse. Their silver and their gold will not be able to deliver them. In the day of the wrath of the Most High, they will not satisfy their souls, nor fill their stomachs, because it became their stumbling block of iniquity. As for the beauty of his ornaments, he set it in majesty, but they made from it the images of their abominations. Their detestable things, therefore I have made it like refuse to them. I will give it as plunder into the hands of the strangers and to the wicked of the earth as spoil. And they shall defile it. I will turn my face from them and they will defile my secret place. For robbers shall enter it and defile it. Make a chain. And ain't that what the worldly do? Make a chain. And if we refer back to verse 20 in Ezekiel chapter 7. But they made from it the images of their abominations. Let's get back to this read. Verse 23. Chapter 7 in Ezekiel. Make a chain. For the land is filled with crimes of blood, and the city is full of violence. Therefore, I will bring the worst of the Gentiles, and they will possess their houses. I will cause the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. Destruction comes. They will seek peace, but there shall be none. Disaster will come upon disaster, and rumor will be upon rumor. Then they will seek a vision from a prophet, but the law will perish from the priest and counsel from the elders. The king will mourn. The prince will be clothed with desolation and the hands of the common people will tremble. I will do to them according to their way and according to what they deserve. I will judge them. Then they shall know that I am the Most High. Let's go to chapter 16. He's still in Ezekiel. Chapter 16, verse 8 through 38. Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 8 through 38. When I passed by you again and looked upon you indeed your time was the time of love so i spread my wing over you and covered your nakedness yes i swore an oath to you and entered it and entered into a covenant with you and you became mine says the most high the father then i washed you in water yes i thoroughly washed off your blood and I anointed you with oil. I clothed you in embroidered cloth and gave you sandals of badger skin. I clothed you with fine linen and covered you with silk. I adorned you with ornaments, put bracelets on your wrists and a chain on your neck. And I 
put a jewel in your nose, earrings in your ears, and a beautiful crown on your head. Thus, you were adorned with gold and silver, and your clothing was of fine linen, silk, and embroidered cloth. You ate pastry of fine flour, honey and oil. You were exceedingly beautiful and succeeded to royalty. Your fame went out among the nations because of your beauty, for it was perfect through my splendor, which I had bestowed on you, says the Most High, the Father. But you trusted in your own beauty. We'll run that back. But you trusted in your own beauty, played the harlot because of your fame, and poured out your harlotry on everyone passing by who would have it. You took some of your garments and adorned multicolored high places for yourself and played the harlot on them. Such things should not happen nor be. You have also taken your beautiful jewelry from my gold and my silver which I had given you and made for yourself male images and played a harlot with them. You took your embroidered garments and covered them and you set my oil and my incense before them. Also, my food, which I gave you, the pastry of fine flour, oil and honey, which I fed you. You set it before them as sweet incense. And so it was, says the Most High, the Father. Moreover, you took your sons and your daughters whom you bore to me, and these you sacrificed to them to be devoured. Like the army be all you can be. Professional sports. Organizations of the world. I'm going to run that back. Verse 20. Moreover, you took your sons and your daughters, whom you bore to me, and these you sacrificed to them to be devoured. Abortions. Were your acts of harlotry a small matter? That you have slain my children and offered them up to them by causing them to pass through the fire. And in all your abominations and acts of harlotry, you did not remember the days of your youth when you were naked and bare struggling in your blood then it was so after all your wickedness woe woe to you says the most high the father that you also built for yourself a shrine and made a high place for yourself in every street you built your high places at the head of every road and made your beauty to be abhorred you offered yourself to everyone who passed by and multiplied your acts of harlotry. You also committed harlotry with the Egyptians. I'm going to run that back. You also committed harlotry with the Egyptians, your very fleshly neighbors, your very fleshly neighbors, and increased your acts of harlotry to provoke me to anger. Behold, therefore, I stretched out my hand against you, diminished your atonement, and gave you up to the will of those who hate you. The daughters of the Philistines who were ashamed of your little behavior. You also played the harlot with Assyrians because you were insatiable. Indeed, you played the harlot with them and still were not satisfied. Moreover, you multiplied your acts of harlotry as far as the land of the traitor, the Chaldea. And even then, you were not satisfied. 
How degenerated is your heart? Says the most high of father, seeing you do all these things, the deeds of a brazen harlot. You erected your shrine at the head of every road and built your high place in every street. Yet you were not like a harlot because you scorned payment. You are an adulterous wife who takes strangers instead of her husband. Men make payment to all their harlots, but you made your payments to all your lovers and hired them to come to you from all around for your harlotry. You are the opposite of other women in harlotry, in your harlotry. Let me run that back, verse 34. You are the opposite of other women in your harlotry because no one solicited you to be a harlot in that you gave payment, but no payment was given you. Therefore, you are the opposite. And that you gave payment, but no payment was given you. You got robbed. See, if you just stay, if you stayed in our lane, did what we were supposed to do. Do what you're supposed to do when you not get robbed. You will not get played by the world. You know, as a show, do you get mad when you put 25 cent in? And you try to get that little toy, that little gumball and that machine don't give you, don't give it to you. It's broken. It didn't give you your, your, your little uh, piece of gum. You hitting the machine, you hot. And that's over 25 cent. Let's get it. Verse 35. Now then, O harlot, hear the word of the most high. Thus says the Father, the Most High, because your filthiness was poured out and your nakedness uncovered in your holotry with your lovers and with all your abom abominable idols and because of the blood of your children which you gave to them. Surely, therefore, I will gather all your lovers with whom you took pleasure, all those you loved and all those you hated. I will gather them from all around against you and will uncover your nakedness to them that they may see all your nakedness and I will judge you as women who break wedlock or shed blood are judged I will bring blood upon you in fury and jealousy Verse 38, and I will judge you as women who break wedlock or shed blood are judged. And brothers and sisters, we know that judgment, right? The woman who breaks wedlock or shed blood are judged. Let's get to this read. Let's get to this read. And we wonder why in these streets, man, we constantly dying because we fornicate against the most high. Let's go to the book, Isaiah. Book, Isaiah. And we're going to go to chapter. Chapter 3, verse 16 through 24. The book Isaiah said, chapter 3, verse 16 through 24. Verse 16 reads, moreover, the Most High says, because the daughters of Zion are haughty, are haughty. Let me run that back because the daughters of Zion are haughty and walk with outstretched necks and wanton eyes walking and mincing as they go. Making a jingling with their feet, therefore, the most high will strike with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion. 
and the Most High will uncover their secret parts. In that day, the Most High will take away the finery, the jingling anklets, the scarves, and the crescents, the pendants, the bracelets, and the veils, the headdresses, the leg ornaments, and the headbands, the perfume boxes, the charms, and the rings, the nose jewels, the festo apparel, and the mantles, the outer garments, the purses, and the mirrors, the fine linen, the turban, and the robes. And so it shall be. My brothers and sisters. And you know what? I'm going to take it down to 25. I know I said it. Uh, I know I said 16 through 24, but we're just going to take it down to 25. Instead of a sweet smell, there would be a stench. Instead of a sash, a rope. Instead of well set hair, baldness. Instead of a rich rope, a girding of sackcloth and branding instead of beauty. Your men shall fall by the sword and your mighty in war. You know what? I'm going to take it to 26. Verse 26. We're going we gonna to stop at verse 26. Her gates shall lament and mourn and she being desolate shall sit on the ground. My brothers and sisters, let's go to the book of Jeremiah, chapter two. The book of Jeremiah, chapter two, verse 32. Jeremiah, chapter two, verse 32. Can a virgin forget her ornaments or a bride her attire? Yet my people, have forgotten me days without number. Let's stay in Jeremiah. We're going to go to chapter 4, verse 30. Jeremiah chapter 4, verse 30. And when you are plundered, what will you do? Though you clothe yourself with crimson, though you adorn yourself with ornaments of gold, though you enlarge your eyes with paint, in vain you will make yourself fair. Your lovers will despise you. They will seek your life. My brothers and sisters. Let's go to the book of Hosea. Bear with me, brothers and sisters. Let's go to the book of Hosea. Chapter 2. Verse 13. The book of Hosea, chapter 2. Verse 13, I will punish her for the days of the boughs to which she burned incense. She decked herself with her earrings and jewelry and went after her lovers. But me she forgot, says the Most High. My brothers and sisters. My brothers and sisters. We must give all glory to the Most High. We must give all glory to the Most High, my brothers and sisters. Not to honor the flesh, but to honor the spirit, the righteous spirit. The Most High. The gift of the Most High. My brothers and sisters. Our Father is merciful. We must come to him now. Be a light to everyone. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. First Samuel chapter 16, verse 7. But the Most High said to Samuel, do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature, because I have refused him. For the Most High does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Most High looks at the heart. My brothers and sisters. The Most High looks at the heart. 
Man looks at the outward appearance. My brothers and sisters. We're going to go to Proverbs. The book of Proverbs chapter 1, verse 8 through 9. Proverbs chapter 1, 8 through 9. My son, hear the instruction of your father and do not forsake the law of your mother. I'm going to run that back. My son, hear the instruction of your father and do not forsake the law of your mother. For they will be a graceful ornament on your head and chains about your neck. Let's go to, we're still in Proverbs chapter 11, verse 22. As a ring of gold in a swine's snout, so is a lovely woman who lacks discretion. We're still in Proverbs. Let's go to 25. Let's go to 25. Verse, uh. Proverbs 25, verse 12. Proverbs 25, verse 12. Like an earring of gold and an ornament of fine gold is a wise rebuker to an obedient ear. We're going to jump to 31 and 10. We're still in Proverbs 31 and 10. Who can find a virtuous wife? For her worth is far above rubies. Then we're going to jump to 31 and 30. We're still in Proverbs. Charm is deceitful and beauty is passing. But a woman who fears the most high, she shall be praised. So my brothers and sisters, it's all glory to the most high. All glory to the most high. Not to not to honor our flesh, my brothers and sisters. All glory to the Most High. New Testament. We're going to go to the book of John, chapter 6, verse 27. Book of John, chapter 6, verse 27. Do not labor for the food which perishes, but for the food which endures to everlasting life, which the Son of Man will give you, because the Most High the Father has set his seal on him. My brothers and sisters. The most high of father. My brothers and sisters. The most high, the father, is who we serve through our savior. My brothers and sisters. We're going to go to the first epistle of John. Chapter 2, verse 15 through 16. First epistle of John, chapter 2, verse 15 through 16. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is of the world. My brothers and sisters, let's go to the first epistle of Peter. First epistle of Peter, chapter 3, verse 3 through 5. First epistle of Peter, chapter 3, verse 3 through 5. Do not let your adornment be merely outward, arranging the hair, wearing gold, or putting on fine apparel. Rather, let it be the hidden person of the heart with the incorruptible beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit which is very precious in the sight of the Most High. For in this manner, in former times, the holy women who trusted in the Most High also adorned themselves, being submissive to their own husbands. My brothers and sisters, all praises to the Most High. My brothers and sisters, we give all glory to the Most High, not to ourselves, My brothers and sisters, 
We must come from the world. The world is death, my brothers and sisters. We're going to go to the first epistle of Paul, the apostle to Timothy. The first epistle of Paul, the apostle to Timothy. Chapter 2, verse 9 through 10. Chapter 2, verse 9 through 10. In like manner also that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel, with propriety in moderation, not with braided hair or gold or pearls or costly clothing, but which is proper for women professing godliness with good works. And my brothers, verse 8. I know I started at 9. Let's go to verse 8. The first epistle of Paul, the apostle to Timothy. Chapter 2, verse 8. I desire, therefore, that the men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. My brothers and sisters, John the Baptist didn't walk around shining as worldly jewels, jewelry. John the Baptist walked around in the spirit of the most high. That is the brightest that you can get. You want to shine, you got to shine for the most high. He'll give you that shine. Our savior, our savior, the son of the most high, did not walk around with jewels of the world. But the brightest of all brightness, our savior walked around. my brothers and sisters, not the jewels of the world. My brothers and sisters. But the word of the Most High, the word became flesh. My brothers and sisters, the Son of the Most High, our Savior, all praises to the Most High through our Savior. Brothers and sisters, I love you. Come from the world. Stay prayerful and keep your lamps filled with light.